Dear students, welcome to the online classes of endocrinology. Today I will discuss about the hypothalamo-hypophyseal system. Hy so hypothalamus or pituitary gland. So hypothalamo and hypophyseal system is uh, they actually they are uh, closely coordinated. So we can study both hypothalamus and pituitary glands at a time. So here uh, it has shown that the general organization of hypothalamo and hypophyseal system so when external or internal environmental signals uh, transmit the central nervous system with the help of electrical or chemical transmission this uh, uh, gives a signal to the hypothalamus and once hypothalamus get the signal from the uh, internal or external environmental signal it releases the hormones in nanograms and these hormones can go to the adenohypophysis or anterior lobe of the pituitary gland and in the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland uh, the cells of anterior pituitary gland start uh, secretion of hormones in microgram now so the quantity of hormones increase now and then these hormones from the anterior pituitary lobe goes to the target glands and in the target glands uh, the target cells start uh, secretion of ultimate hormones in even in milligram so the quantity of hormones further increases and finally they show the hormonal response on the other hand here you can see in the uh, hypothalamus can also uh, activate the axonal transport and uh, here you can see the oxytocin and vasopressin start secretion pro uh, secretion started from the uh, hypothalamus and they goes to the neurohypophysis or uh, posterior lobe of the pituitary gland and they start releasing some effective hormones and they go to the uterine uh, uterine for the contraction and lactation particularly oxytocin and vasopressin goes to the kidney for the water balance on other hand here you can see the feedback feedback means when the amount of hormone uh, reaches a particular quantity uh, they give back uh, give the negative feedback uh, loop and they stop or they give signal to hypothalamus or adenohypophysis to stop the secretion of further hormones so here you can see how hypothalamus and pituitary gland are uh, closely coordinated now the hormones of pituitary gland uh, as you know the pituitary gland has three lobes adenohypophysis which is called anterior lobe Neurohypophysis is called posterior lobe and there is mid lobe also which is the part of the adenohypophysis that is called mid lobe. So there are the various hormones uh, of anterior pituitary you can see the growth hormone, TSH, adrenocorticotropic hormone, FSH and LH. These both are called gonadotropin, prolactin and posterior lobe particularly secrete the oxytocin and vasopressin and intermediate lobe. Uh, secretes the hormone MSH or melanocyte stimulating hormone here in the right hand side you can see the various uh, blood supply like you can see the various arteries in the red color and various veins in the uh, hypothalamus and pituitary gland and you can see many neurons in this region as well so the hypothalamus pituitary uh, uh, both glands are uh, closely coordinated and there are many uh, neurons are also present so they are uh, they can coordinate with our mm, nervous system also now here you can see the structure of uh, pituitary gland uh, it has uh, anterior lobe which is called adenohypophysis it has three parts that and these are parts tuberilis, parts distillis and parts intermedia. These three parts are of the adenohypophysis. And similarly, neurohypophysis is also made up of three main parts that is median, 
एम्बिनेंस इनफेंडिकुलर स्टॉक एंड पर्स नर्वोसा नाउ द हारमोन्स ऑफ द एंटीरियर पिटरी लोब एंड दियर इफेक्ट एंड हाउ द हाइपोसिक्रीशन एंड हाइपर सिक्रीशन ऑफ पिटरी हारमोन्स कॉज इज वेरियस डिजीज इन अवर बॉडी और वेरियस एबनॉर्मेलिटी इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी और मेमिलियन बॉडी तो फर्स्ट हारमोन विच इज सिक्रेटेड फ्रॉम द एंटीरियर लोब दैट इज ग्रोथ हारमोन दैट इज सिक्रेटेड फ्रॉम द समे ड्रॉप्स ऑफ द एंटीरियर लोब एंड दे स्टमुलेट द ग्रोथ एंड सेल प्रोलीफ्रेशन हाइपोसिक्रीशन ऑफ दिस ग्रोथ हारमोन कॉज द हाइपोग्लाइसोमिया एंड रिटार्टेड ग्रोथ इन द इन्फेंट एंड हाइपर सिक्रीशन कैन कॉज एक्रोमेगेली Uh, you heard this uh, term i think acromegaly means uh, heaviness of jaw and increased size of digits to so hand and uh, foot size is increased very fast and uh, this condition is called pituitary uh, giantism so the person suffering from hyper secretion of uh, growth hormone uh, his body becomes or her body becomes very giant in shape second hormone is tss or thyroid stimulating hormone they secreted from the thyrotrophs and they stimulate the t4 and t3 synthesis and stimulate the iodine absorption from you know, by the thyroid gland and hyposecretion causes the graves disease which is also called hyperthyroidism and it is uh, the main symptom is the bulging of eyes and uh, hypersecretion of tss causes the benign tumor of the pituitary the third hormone is acth or adrenocorticotropic hormone which is uh, secreted from the corticotropes stimulate uh, it stimulate the uh, corticosteroid hormone or uh, that is glucocorticoid and mineralocorticoid from and androgen synthesis and release from the uh, adrenocortical cells so hyposecretion causes the hypo uh, pituitarism and uh, that is also called adrenal insufficiency and uh, hyper secretion cause the cushing syndrome and that symptoms include the uh, rapid weight gain and uh, particularly in the uh, trunk region of the face and uh, mo- uh, other important hormone is fss follicular stimulating hormone that is uh, secreted from the gonadotropes and uh, fsh in female it stimulate the maturation of ovarian follicle and in, in male it uh, stimulate the maturation of seminiferous tubules so it help in the reproductive system FS. so hyposecretion causes the polycystic ovarian syndrome and hypersecretion causes the uh, premature menopause Uh, second hormone uh, another hormone is luteinizing hormone which is also secreted from the gonadotropes in female it stimulate the ovulation so main uh, function of lh is ovulation so uh, hyposecretion and hypersecretion uh, symptom are the same as the fsh Th- uh, another important hormone is prolactin which is secreted from lactotropes and uh, prolactin uh, you know that it stimulate the synthesis Uh, and release of milk from the mammary gland in the mammals and from the mid lobe of the pituitary gland uh, msh is released which is called a melanocyte stimulating hormone and it is uh, secreted from the melanotropes it stimulate the melanin synthesis and release from the skin and hair so melanin uh, protect us from the uv light and uh, the african people have more melanin because they reside in the uh, african country african and uh, in that area the uv exposure is very high so melanin protect them from the uv exposure so this is all about anterior lobe and mid lobe and and this, there are some hormones uh, two important hormones actually produced from the posterior lobe of the uh, pituitary gland Uh, first one is oxytocin that is produced by the hypothalamus and is stored in the is stored in the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland it is secreted from the magnocellular neurosecretory cells and it 
its effect it uh, used it for the uterine contraction and uh, oxytocin is uh, also uh, uh, its trade name is actually pitocin uh, and it is used for the uh, contraction of mammary gland and excess of uh, oxytocin can cause uh, harder uterine contraction and stress in fetus and second hormone is vasopressin which is also called anti diuretic hormone or arginine vasopressin it is secreted from the pervicellular neurosecretory neuron and it causes the increased water permeability in the d and distal convoluted tubule and dct and hyposecretion causes the uh, diabetes insipidus in it is a condition uh, of hypernatremia means increased blood sodium concentration and uh, hypersecretion causes the high level of avh secretion may lead hyponatremia means low plasma level sodium so that's all about the hormones of and uh, anterior lobe and posterior lobe of pituitary gland uh, you can uh, study uh, these hormones in detail uh, from this uh, text now hypothalamus gland uh, hypothalamus gland is also present very near to the uh, pituitary gland and there are uh, some major uh, nucleus of hypothalamus are presented here these are the parboventricular nuclei posterior nuclei and then dorsomedial uh, nuclei supraoptic nuclei ventromedial nuclei arcuate nucleus and mammary mammillary nucleus so these are the uh, some important nucleus of the hypothalamus and their position is here and it is just above the pituitary gland here down in the figure you can see the how vasopressin and oxytocin is secreted from the hypothalamus so here you can see the parboventricular nucleus and uh, from this nucleus you can see the secretion of oxytocin which is denoted by the uh, orange or red or pink dots so oxytocin is released by parboventricular nucleus and vasopressin which is anti diuretic hormone is secreted from the uh, supraoptic nucleus so here you can see the blue color dots which is denoting the vasopressin and it is secreting from the supraoptic nucleus and they both hormones are stored in the pituitary gland now hormones of the hypothalamus and first hormone is a uh, thyrotropin releasing hormone and um, it is tripeptide it is secreted on parvicellular neurosecretory neuron it stimulates the thyroid stimulating hormone and prolactin release from the anterior pituitary second one is dopamine it is also called uh, prolactin inhibiting hormone it is a neurotransmitter of the catecholamine uh, so dopamine uh, is secreted from dopamine neurons of the arcuate nucleus and uh, it inhibit the pro protectin release from the anterior pituitary apart from that it also works as a neurotransmitter and uh, actually our body makes it and nervous system uses it to send messages between nerve cells that's why it is sometimes called chemical messenger also so uh, hyposecretion of dopamine affects many part of uh, our body like behavior and physical function such as learning motivation heart rate blood vessel kidney function lactation these all are affected by the hyposecretion of uh, dopamine and hypersecretion actually hy uh, dopamine is hypersecreted when uh, some person uh, is uh, addicted to some drug like cocaine and once the person is uh, addicted by the cocaine uh, the dopamine increases in number and uh, uh, it causes some emotional uh, low in the patient so it is really dangerous to addict 
for some cocaine and other neurotransmitters which can directly affect the dopamine in our body third is ghrh or growth hormone releasing hormone it is secreted from the neuroendocrine neuron of the arequiet nucleus it is stimulate the growth the growth hormone so its hyposecretion and hypersecretion effect same as the growth hormone hyposecretion hypersecretion effect and another hormone is gnrh or gonadotropin releasing hormone so gonadotropin releasing gonadotropins are mm, lh and fsh actually so they are Uh, secret this gnrh is secreted from the neuro neuroendocrine cell of preoptic area it stimulate the fsh and lh then corticotropin releasing hormone that is crh it is also secreted from parvicellular neurosecretory neuron it stimulate the acth adrenocorticotropic hormone release from the anterior pituitary and another important hormone is oxytocin that is secreted from the magnocellular uh, neurosecretory neuron and its function is uterine contraction or uh, lactation and uh, hypersecretion of oxytocin cause the uterine contraction uh, stress in fetus and last one is a vasopressin which is uh, secreted from the parvi cell uh, cellular neurosecretory neuron so uh, hyper and this effect and hyper secretion and hypo secretion i already explained in the pituitary gland finally here i have shown the three type of hypothalamic uh, neurosecretory cells uh, you heard these cells many times in this lecture like magnocellular neuron so first here in the left side you can see the magnocellular neuron which is Uh, which located in the son means uh, supraoptic nucleus and or uh, pbh or paraventricular hypothalamic nucleus so uh, from these uh, magnocellular neurons actually vasopressin and oxytocin secreted and they goes to the and they both go to the posterior lobe of the uh, pituitary gland and here you can see how they can stimulate the kidney and and the uterus second is the parvi cellular hypo hypophysitropic neuron and they are located in the periventricular hypothalamic nucleus and pvh as well as in the uh, arequiet nucleus and uh, they secrete trh or ghrh or gnrh and they secrete these hormones in the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland and third one is hypothalamic projection neuron which are located in pvh lha and arequiet nucleus and these uh, neurons are actually the uh, are the part of the our nervous system they are present at the end of the neuron synapse so that's all about the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland and uh, next week uh, i will discuss uh, about some uh, pancreatic hormones till then uh, bye bye please stay at home and stay safe if you have any query you can write me on my whatsapp number or you can uh, ask on my youtube channel as well till then thank you